because another case I'm dealing with Nigeria with the huge, huge, huge backlogs. And actually, this goes into the next uh, number, bullet number five, is the huge delays in Nigeria. So we have the F2A case in Nigeria. Um, and uh, we did a congressional, like, what's going on? They say we're doing uh, F2A documentary qualified cases from 2021. So like three-year backlog to do a, you know, a current uh, DQ case in Nigeria, spouse of a green card holder. So that's just crazy. I mean, these people's lives are falling apart. So uh, we're going to, you know, do naturalization because the person like, you know, let's just do it. Be naturalized. Maybe they'll speed it up. But then they have to do an I-130 for the child and then do with the issue I talked about earlier, which is uh, try to do direct filing. If that doesn't work, do with USCIS. Then do an expedite. If the case to catch up with the parent. It just, it's, it's just a bunch of fees. It's thousands and thousands of dollars. Let's put aside the, the attorney fees. There's a uh, you know, I-130 fee, the headache of, uh, of you know, making expedite requests, then the IV fees. Um, that's going to be probably over a thousand dollars right there, government fees, let alone if you want to add an attorney on there. So it's, it's really nice. Plus they've already paid an IV processing fee for the F2A case when I was with, with NBC. So, um, is the delays are ridiculous and it adds much of timelines. <laughs>